G20 members agree to refer to Russia's invasion of Ukraine as the war in Ukraine instead of the war against Ukraine in a capitulation to Putin, who wasn't even there. Here's a summary of the article. Ukraine is not even a real country, according to Russian propaganda. I will start with the fact that modern Ukraine was entirely created by Russia, President Vladimir Putin said last year, right as he launched the full-scale invasion of his fictional but plucky neighbor. Lenin and his comrades severed, what is historically Russian land, from its mother when they seized power in 1917 and declared Ukraine to be an actually existing republic. No longer will it make any reference to Russia's military action, against Ukraine, as in the statement released the last time that officials from the world's most powerful economies met, the Financial Times and Bloomberg reported Saturday. Now the Kremlin's tanks, drones, and hundreds of thousands of troops are referred to as merely being, in, the country that Putin says should not exist. One shouldn't look to a G20 statement, written by the world's most powerful committee, for clarity or guidance on moral questions. The leading economies can all agree that the sky is blue and what the Kremlin is doing, in, Ukraine is properly termed a, war. This is useful. It shows that not even China is willing to go along with Russia's preferred euphemism. The truth is that as Moscow's war of aggression against Ukraine approaches its 600th day, the question of whether it continues for 600 more is largely in the hands of one man, in Russia, who has proven immune to international statements, strongly worded or otherwise. This post received a score of 6,600, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Invasion of Ukraine is the correct term. Full-scale invasion of Ukraine is best if we're referring to February 2022. Don't want to downplay the invasion of 2014 and ensuing conflict leading all the way up to 2022. Illegal invasion. Calling it the war in Ukraine is like saying Mr. and Mrs. O.J. Simpson had marital troubles. What are you talking about? Whether it's war in, war against, or invasion of, it's still clear that we're talking about war. Hundreds of thousands of lives ended, cities and villages being razed to the ground, refugee and food and energy crises. The semantics are only there to reinforce fault, they do nothing to change the realities of what war means. Greater than the semantics are only there to reinforce fault, yes. Bleached and sanitized as usual. Greater than the previous G20 declaration, made in Indonesia last November, referred to aggression by the Russian Federation against Ukraine? Western diplomats said China's refusal to repeat that formulation was critical in pushing host India to propose compromise language. Well they made Russia sign under it being a war so I wouldn't call it a capitulation to Putin. There were 40 plus Ukraine references in 2022 G20 declaration while only four this time. It is too big of a difference and in favor of Russia cause G20 considered other things more important to talk about than this. There are other things more important to talk about. Ukraine's bad and all, but the world's in kind of a shit place, you know? Seems like a non-issue, and in fact a win for Ukraine if anything. All the fighting is happening on lands Russia has claimed as their own in their constitution. Yet here they are saying that fighting, the war, a term they have also refused to use, is happening in Ukraine, not Russian territory. So they are admitting that land they occupy is Ukrainian. I think this is as close to the right answer as I've seen on this post. I don't think this is at all any concession to Russia. Expecting the average Redditor to understand the nuances of geopolitics is asking a lot. Many react with emotion instead of reason. That, and they react to the title of the news article rather than the news itself. Fucking joke. Bunch of pussies. Your spine is the first thing you have to surrender to your corporate donors in order to get elected. Just say war in Ukraine provoked by Russia. Damn, she's the one behind this too? She was terminated on the same day the war started, the 24th of February 2022. Well that was an overreaction to her being let go. I know the last time I was fired I also tried to start a massive conflict that risked potential escalation into a global thermonuclear war. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.